I want you to start saying to yourself from now that 2020 is going to be the year of plenty, plenty. 2020, plenty, plenty. Or flip it around the other way and it's plenty, plenty in 2020. Whether that applies to you or whether you said that and you would have liked that to mean business, money, academic success, or whatever else you would like to be blessed with, plenty, plenty in 2020. Good times, good memories, good health. Think about that. No matter how bad the situation may seem at this time, think about how you're going to change it, how you are going to take responsibility for yourself, your own situation, and do what is necessary to succeed. This morning, I'd like to focus on the entrepreneurs who are listening into the show, or the potential entrepreneurs listening into the show, and even those who have been entrepreneurs, businessmen and women, for some time now. I want to tell you about a system called the bail system, B-A-I-L, the bail system. And no, it's not the kind of bail that needs to get posted when you are arrested or imprisoned. That's not it. But it is a nice acronym. The bail system. Because the bail system is the system that sets your business up for success. If you're thinking about going into business, if you are already in business, you need to know that there are some back-end systems that need to be in place in order for your business to really succeed. And bail stands for banker, accountant, insurance, and lawyer. This is the back end of your business. These are the people that you will need to be, to be that group of reliable professionals that you can count on. One of the understated or never at all stated reasons why businesses fail is because many people don't think about this part of the business when they're starting their business. They focus purely on the tasks of the business and the service or product that the business offers. But the bail portion of your business is one of the most important parts. The bail portion of your business is what will help you to comply with regulations, to pay your taxes, to protect your business. And if you don't have a team set up, we have to ask, what are you waiting for? You need a banker to assist in your financial transactions. You are running a business now. This is not just your personal banking or even if you didn't have a personal banker before, this is not just regular banking. You are running a business. You need to have people in that financial institution that you can call on who will help you with certain transactions, who will guide you through the process, who will understand your business and your business needs who will set you up with facilities that you may not have even known existed. But you need a banker on your side. You also need a reliable accountant, someone who will not just file your taxes, you know, but someone who will analyze and inspect your financials and check the financial health of your business, offer possible solutions, equations, ratios let you know if you are overextending yourself if you can finance this differently if you can do things differently if there are assets that are being untapped or not not capitalized not not utilized efficiently but you need an accountant on your team now, these are not to say that you have to hire. This is not to say that you have to hire an accountant, you know. You can pay an accountant a retainer, for instance, and use them when and as is necessary. But ensure that the person or business that you hire, that they understand your needs, your business, what you're about, what you need, and what you're trying to achieve. Thirdly, you're going to need insurance. 
to guarantee you against possible losses. Insurance, not necessarily in all things, but in some things. The very valuable things, the very fragile things. Insurance for vehicles, insurance for assets purchased, insurance for things purchased on credit, debt financing, etc. Some see it, even if you saw it, as wasted money in your own personal affairs. Please understand that for business, it plays a significantly different role. And lastly, your legal team, or at the very least, a lawyer. Now, when you think of lawyers, you probably think about criminal attorneys or civil attorneys. So you're either thinking murder and mayhem or somebody's fighting for land, generally speaking. But there are corporate attorneys as well. There are attorneys who specialize in different areas. And you need an attorney on your side in order to advise you sometimes before you, you, you issue a contract, sometimes to help you write up the contract. And in order to represent you and all of your legal needs and rights. Because sometimes you may have rights that you didn't even know you had. But this is where the legal aid, advice and counsel comes into play. Now there are some institutions, government run institutions in this country that are set up to help young entrepreneurs and those who are just getting started in business etc to get their feet wet to offer these services to them or at least the counseling the advisory etc to them and you can feel free to utilize these services but once you get past a particular point you're going to have to start to put these things in place on your own but just remember that though if you're serious about business in 2020 remember the bail system the banker the accountant, the insurer, and the lawyer.